Welcome to the Driverpreneur. My name is Angelo Darren. I'm with uh, Ride Local. And this is a special video I'm bringing out to the public right now. And really because uh, things have been dormant over the past uh, couple months. Uh, uh, we have been busier, but we reinvented ourselves in order to sustain and gain. Uh, and I wanted to come out with this video to do a little bit of how we've done it. So how have I survived? Uh, when I started this, I was so intrigued by the rideshare platform as a businessman, I decided to actually start uh, uh, actually creating it. Uh, at first, I wasn't thinking what I was going to do, but uh, I thought uh, if I use one platform and I'm not busy, maybe I'll use another platform and another platform. And so that's really what I've been over the couple years. Uh, I've been driving uh, for rideshare. I've created, I haven't used just one solely platform because sometimes so, that one platform won't give me enough. So I've really created multiple platforms. I've used them and I've signed up for them. Now I don't use all of them all the time. And in the early time when I first had all the platforms, I might've used uh, some of them I don't even use today. And the reason being is because it's all about profitability. So I realized within my car, and I've always said within your car, we have a business and in order to sustain that business, we must have income, but uh, in order to have income, in order to have stability and also security, we need to have multiple amounts of it. So one way to do it, and I think a lot of drivers do this as well, is they might have more than one platform that they're ru running off of, and then whatever the work they get, they make the choice. I did the same thing. I took all platforms. The difference is, is I monitored the profitability of each one, and I also managed it so I knew uh, I did everything I could to manage it to get the best or the most profits out of it than I could. And the ones that I couldn't get high profits from, laterally I let them go and then other ones I've, I've kind of grew on. Well, that got me to think uh, back uh, because of Uber and Lyft, because of the commissions that they take and they, they send it back to California and it really doesn't help our community. That's actually why Ride Local first started is because of getting mad about Uber and Lyft. So uh, the way they were ripping off drivers, but also bigger, bigger than that is that they were actually uh, taking money away from the community in which it was giving. So we started Ride Local with businesses in order to fund it. And really it was the platform was designed to help the driver, you know, achieve more money, 100% of fares and tips. And also now we're into delivery fees. But that's what our whole mission is. And uh, really by it, I took it and I, I told my partner, I said, if we only built it to the point where we just have a few drivers and they're all profitable and they're happy and they're building a viable business, that's all it's about. Because really the initial investment that we made was to construct the app. Now our upgraded, it's obviously we'll upgrade it as time goes on, but the expense and the money that's needed to upgrade always is a lot less than what it was initially. So our apps are up and functioning. Been, we've been open since 2019 in October. We had a, a you know a slow start, but uh, functionalities and stuff like that. And also uh, because of a lot of things that transpired in our, in our country. So we've kind of changed ourselves the way we have. Uh, and everything we, I was thinking is, you know, when the COVID virus hit, uh, everything was going bad and really drive ride share kind of shut off. And I quit driving because I didn't, uh, I guess it's all about protecting the people that were around rather than ourselves. So that's really why I quit driving. Uh, and then when I did, I, I took uh, precautionary steps in order to maintain safety, not only for me, but also my riders. And one way I'm doing it now is obviously I'm wearing a mask and I'm obviously using a, a, a disinfectant where I wipe down touch points all the time. And I'm also constantly spraying in the air. And this product actually is it's natural, but eliminates uh, bacteria and also viruses. So it's good for protection within a car. Uh, I minimize conversation. Obviously, we have masks on. What I've noticed is because uh, as I'm driving, I'm being cautious. I'm noticing even the riders, I've noticed them where they didn't maybe initially were going to go into the car with a mask on, but they seen one on me, and so they did. So my thing is, is about how, how you feel is safe. And if, if I encourage people to be a little bit more cautious about it, that's good because that's what it's about. Uh, so things are kind of picking up a little bit. I mean, things are getting a little bit busier. 
uh, I think the whole thing is this, hey, if anybody down in the comment section, you want to put in where you're from, your city and state, that sure helps a lot where our reach is. Uh, but uh, really what it's about is about taking a platform of multiple income streams. Now they might be Uber or Lyft. You might do Uber and Lyft if for a ride share. And then you might do, you know, delivery apps like Instacart, you know, your grocery shopping and so on. Uh, and that's fine because that supplements your income. A lot of people will drive and they'll just take the rides and they don't know the difference between, okay, like I get a ride share, it's 19 minutes away or 12 minutes away because of the way right now people are a little skittish, that's what you're going to get. And when you get those, do I take them or don't I take them? You know, I need the income and that's how they look at it. The whole idea is to have choices and build multiple platforms within your car in order to have those choices so you don't lose a niche on your income. Uh, like I said, initially I had some platforms I did and now I do not because I don't, the, the profitability isn't up there. I'm really, as a manager and as an owner of my business, I'm going to manage my uh, platforms that I do use because I'm trying to maximize my profitability. Uh, Ride Local has always been good for me because I get 100% of the fares. So in a situation where I'm driving for a lift and I get $9, I would have probably got $18, $20 on that ride if it was a Ride Local ride. So obviously I'm gonna take the platform where I'm gonna make the most money on and I'm gonna to try to beef that up or try to grow that. That's really how you end up making more money and then when you go out and you work a few hours, you make $60 an hour or something like that. And at least if you work two to three, four hours, you're not killing yourself, but you're making enough money in order to build a viable business. Now there's other ways that we can do that. And if you will stay tuned for the end of this, I'm gonna show you some ways that we have done in order to uh, build additional income in our car, out of our car, uh, meaning remote income, in order for us to have freedom and uh, maybe working when we want and how much we want. So uh, as we're moving along here, Stay with me as I show you the now combat way to combat that, what I call it income blues. Because when this hit, a lot of people really suffered. Some people just got out of the game totally. And on other ones were an incubator period where they're gonna wait till the, you know, until the cities or the states open up. So everything's been changing right now. Uh, for the good, for me, I mean, my income, I can kind of control the type of income I make and I do it by different platforms and other streams of income. I told you if you're waiting and stuff, I'll give you something. And uh, really what I'm going to give you is a way to do it. Uh, I've created for myself an income stream, which is remote. Um, I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. By 4.30, I am, I am sitting at my computer. And at my computer, I'm doing scheduling from people who are calling. And I'm also doing uh, managing. I'm doing orders. I'm, I'm managing the office for a company. And I'm doing it remotely, which is kind of nice because once I'm done with that, I can be done with that in four hours period. And then I can go on the road and start driving. So as far as my income, I can get that to open wide open just because of that type of remote income. Um, later, I'm going to come out with videos on how to do that. How do you produce income that's uh, far exceeding your, I guess, your demand or your lifestyle? And that way you can start saving for a rainy day and for the future. So stick with me. This is really short. Every uh, Tuesday night, we're going to have a weekly driver per uh, meeting. And you can go ahead and join that. That's on Zoom. Uh, the link you can find is on Facebook. And if you join us every Tuesday night, that will give you tips and tricks and really how to increase your income, how to build a sustainable income within your car, and then give you some fundamentals, management fundamentals, because I mean we're talking about a lot of things if you think about it. No matter what we do, it's about a business. I always say, even if you're an employee, in essence, you have a business, you're in business, business is you. And then if you, let's say you worked a full-time job and then you had a part-time, well, both of them com combination is your business. Uh, it's obviously, you can be an employee, you can be self-employed to have a business. But I, if you always think of your terms as your income that you're producing is your business, then you can always be open to look at for opportunities and how you can add and increase that. So really stay with us and follow Driverpreneur all you want. There's no cost whatsoever to you. Uh, Ride Local, there's a link. Uh, if you're interested in uh, maybe making some money where you're getting 100% of the fares, 
Uh, we are bringing out the delivery uh, with our app. There's a delivery on it. And if you stay tuned uh, for Tuesday, we'll be talking a little bit more about that. So if you, you tune into Tuesday uh, night and uh, in Arizona, it's going to be at 4 p.m. And then in Grand Rapids, Michigan, it'll be aired at 7 p.m. So it's a discussion forum. So when you tune in, you have every right to either have a discussion, ask questions, maybe give input. Uh, and so on like that so follow us on tuesday night uh look on facebook because to connect uh, you can connect to facebook on the zoom account for that webinar so uh we look forward to seeing you there and if you have any comments or anything feel free to reach out to us uh support at ridelocalgr.com and i'll answer any questions i can thank you and it's good seeing everybody back